this is very real to you. It's very real to a lot of people. You know, what is your message to Congress about the urgency of the moment we find ourselves in? Oftentimes, as an undocumented person, as a dreamer, you you hear no. You hear to wait to ensure that there's a political space. But what I'm encouraging our Congress folks today is to look at Arizona. People laughed in my face and they said, you have to wait. This is not possible in a state like Arizona. We'll take that lesson and remember that there, when there's a will, there's a way. We had pushback from Democrats, from Republicans, in the Democrats that this was not good enough, in the Republicans that they didn't want people like me to have an education. The reality is that we built a coalition of the willing and Democrats and Republicans came together, those who were willing to put solutions forward. And right now Congress can do the same. We made the impossible possible because we listen to the voices of dreamers and we listen to their leadership and not only their stories. Marina, a final question before we go. You know, we talked about how this uh, protects DACA recipients from deportation. It, it's more than that. It is the ability to work. It's the ability to go to school. When you are talking with other people who have lived under these protections, talk to me a little bit about the uncertainty that is potentially on the other side of that. The reality is that we're human beings, and every time having to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, checking your Twitter or checking the news to know if this is going to be the day that there's going to be a decision coming out of the courts, this means that our lives are at stake. It means that we are worried about that this may be the last time that we get to embrace our children, or this may be the last time that we get to see our families. We, we have grown up. Some of us are already business people that have folks that are depending on us to to show up to work every single day to pay it forward. There are also about 100,000 dreamers who were stuck in the DACA process because of this legal, legal li battles that we've been seeing, and it's not fair. I think about Valeria, who is stuck in the process, and so many young people that are counting on politicians to do the right thing. And we as the American public, we as communities that care about the 17 million mixed immigration status families that live in our nation, we have a responsibility to act and to not give up. Yeah, that uncertainty is its own form of cruelty. Rena Montoya, as always, thank you.